All right, all right. Welcome back to another RAI Live Caregiver Moment. My name is Kion Church. I'm the founder and Delaware District Administrator of Reliable Aid. I'm also the one that goes by the name of Big Hearted Caregiver because, uh, you know, I take care of the patients, you know, because I love them like they were my own. Now, listen, what I do is I help voluntary family members with distressed loved ones to become paid caregivers through our personal assistance service agency called Reliable Aid Inc. Uh, today's episode is how you can maintain a COVID free, COVID-19 free weekend. But before we get to that, if anybody in the audience right now would like to personally get with the big hearted caregiver, become a big hearted caregiver, you know, or work with the company, what I need you to do is write, let's get started in the comments and uh, I'll be sure to get back with you ASAP or dapper. Now listen, I get on here every week. I try to do this every week just, just to keep the people up with the COVID thing. You know, this COVID is still really, really big. You know, they talking about uh, the resurgence and this and that. So we got to do a lot to keep our, our family members, our elders, our loved ones safe, especially you. We need to keep you safe because you're the one that's taking care of your family, your, your, your loved ones. So what I did is I put together a couple questions. You know what I mean? Now, these questions, they're not the almighty end all be all. But these questions is the best thing you're going to get when you're trying to uh, make moves in this COVID times. Now, listen, before you go into any uh, any strange household, any strange business, any strange place of being, this what you this what you really need to ask them. Number one question. Have you or anybody else in your household been diagnosed with? with the COVID-19? I can't say it enough. That's the strongest question that we got. Don't be afraid to ask. How you gonna know if you don't ask? Ain't no, ain't no signs out front COVID-19 inside. You feel me? So we got to do the next best thing. We got to stay proactive. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 what they say, a little bit of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And you know, with these old folks, ain't no turning back. You know what I mean? Everybody with a pre-existing condition could could be having their life in danger. You know what I mean? If you take them to the wrong place. So the number two question that we want to ask, as soon as you get to the door, this is what you want to ask. Have you or anybody else in your house been told to quarantine? Mm, mic drop on that joint. Listen, man, if these sound like good questions to you, man, if, if, if you, if you, if you're finding it easy to pick up what I'm putting down, man, hit me with some uh, hit me with some wow faces, hit me with some likes, some hearts, man. Let me know that this COVID information is good info. If you're not down with catching the COVID, let me know. Say, hey, KC, I don't want to catch that, man. What's the third thing I need to know? I'm gonna give it to you. Listen, now this one's strong. I don't want you to count this one out because this is the mm-hmm and hmm. I don't know. All right. So listen, question number three. This is how we're gonna do it. When I get to the door, I ask them, have you or anybody else in this household experienced any COVID-19 symptoms? Then what do you do? This is what you do. Check it out. What'd you say? They say, no. Okay, cool. What's up, homie? We coming in, man. Me and mom, me and dad, we coming on in now. You know what I mean? But if they not right, then we ain't right. We ain't going in. Listen, this COVID thing is crazy, man. It's shutting down the whole world right now. We do not want to catch nothing that we can't get rid of. You know what I mean? And and like I said, our elders, uh, a lot of elder folk have pre-existing health conditions. You know what I mean? My father, you know, he's a dialysis patient. My mother was a dialysis patient. You know, these are the kind of people that you got to take care of. You know what I mean? Um, you know, these airborne diseases and viruses and stuff, you know, now we got the regular flu coming back around. We got the COVID still surging. You know what I mean? What we got to do is we got to take care of our, our loved ones. What you need to do, stay out of harm's way, keep your mask on at all times. And also wash your hands as thoroughly as possible. If you're hanging out with people that don't want to wash their hands, they're not your friends. <laughs> you ain't even hear me. If you're hanging out with people that are too lazy to wash their hands, then they're not your friends because they carriers and they're going to they gonna pass you something slick and you don't want that. We trying to stay COVID free. So listen, all you got to do to get the best uh, big hearted caregiver information daily with me is to click the button. Click the button that says get all live notifications. Click that button right there. You're going to stay, mm, you're going to stay tight with the, uh, with the big hearted caregiver himself. 
Also, if you would like to learn more podcast style, I do a podcast style, I think, every day. You know what I mean? Because, like, we, you know, this thing is this thing is lovely. Anchor.fm forward slash the big hearted caregiver. That's how you're going to catch us on the podcast. Mr. Muhammad, how you doing today? Uh, don't be afraid when you check in. Hashtag your city. Hashtag your state. Hashtag if you're a caregiver, you know what I mean? If uh, if you know some people who need this good information, don't be afraid to tag them in the comments. Stop, uh, start a watch party. Do what you got to do. But we're trying to get the word out there to let people know. Also, we're on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to ask Miss Ladea if she can drop the, uh, the YouTube link for us. You know, all big-hearted comments, all big-hearted caregiver information. Is, we try to keep it in the same place for you. You know, take care of yourself. Take care of your parents over the weekend. Take care of your loved ones. Stay COVID-free. You know what I mean? If you happen to be with me and you watch this video to the end, I got a special treat for you. Uh, Reliable Aid just got all the masks in. We got we got some nice Reliable Aid masks. Well, next time I get on the line, I'm going to try to, uh, you know, show them to you. But if you're here with me now and you want one, say, hey, I want one of the masks and I'm going to mail it to you. Mr. KC going to do that. We're going to mail these big hearted Reliable Aid caregiver community mass up. So if you're in the audience right now and you're watching, you're paying attention, you're part of this big hearted caregiver community, you know. Hit me in the DM, man. I'm going to send you a mask out there, man. Make sure you hashtag your, your city. Make sure you hashtag your state. Make sure you hashtag wherever you're watching this from. And let me know that you're a big-hearted caregiver and you need a mask. And I got you. So, like I tell you every day, listen. Number one important thing. Do not let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of somebody else is a bad thing. Look, we only take care of our parents and our relatives and our loved ones because they took care of us. They love us. Everybody need a little help. You know what I mean? You need a little help, call me. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Call me. Give me a chance to earn your business. We watch over your family just like they were ours because we care that much. I don't know where else you're going to get that guarantee at. Call me if you need me. 302-689-3240. Don't be afraid to like and share. You know what I mean? Hit the button to get down with all the live notifications. I love you. Talk to you tomorrow. Stay COVID free too. Hey, look, keep that mask on. Don't take that mask off when you go outside, all right? One love.